Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last few videos, I have been showing you how to create this login page and how to connect it with the database and how to create the registration page in your ASP.NET website. In this video, I will show you how to create a master page and apply the master page design to each and every page in your website. So for example, you need to have some consistent uh, design in your website. I will show you what kind of design I'm talking about. I have uh, some example for it. So when I say view in the browser. So for example, we have created this login page, but we haven't um, provided any design. So in this video, I will show you how to provide this kind of a design to your uh, pages for example this is the login page and to the registration page also how can you uh, apply the same design to every page so let's get started first of all what you need to do is go to your project and right click it and go to add new and add a new master page so just click this master page and Notice that it has the extension dot master and click add. So I have already added this master page. You can see here master page dot master. So just click it and it is nothing. It has created nothing new, but it has blank form inside it. Okay. So this is the form which it contains. But we can provide our own design inside this form. So what I'm going to do is this div tag from start to end, I will just copy for now and cut it and paste it at the bottom. And we are going to use this uh, after. So that's why I've cut and pasted it here at the bottom. And inside this form, I will apply a new design. This will be a HTML uh, table file and I will also give a link below so you can also copy the same code and paste it into your uh, uh, form so you can achieve this kind of a design. Okay, so, so between this uh, form tag, I will just paste my HTML code which is just a table and few TR and TDs here. And when you go to the design, I will just cut it once again. Otherwise it will show error. Cut it once again. This we are going to use. That's why I'm cutting it and we are going to paste it somewhere. So right now our design looks like this. It has website header, menu, content and the footer. And in the source, whatever code I have copied from here for the content placeholder, I will just put it below my content h3 tags here. Wherever you find this content, just paste it, the code below that. And you will see here a content placeholder is created here. Once you have a created a design for your master page it's time to apply in your other pages for example login page or registration page so i will go to my login page and i will go to the source code and for applying master page you need to delete all the body and head header and all the other html tags from here and we just uh, will be using only the content of our uh, uh, login web page and other bodies and other tags we will delete. So from the starting of this doc type up to the starting of the body I will delete it and from the bottom also HTML and body I will delete it. I will delete this form also form tag because we already have our form tag in the master page. So I will delete it here from here and from the top also. Now once you just have the body here, let's see in the design, 
it's showing some error because we don't have any body right now so we will apply the body of the master page in here right so go to the source here and at the top we see here a line called page whatever language is there and whatever the CS file is there we need to add the path of our uh, master page here so we will write master page file is equal to double quote and give this tilde sign here this type of tilde sign and then slash then give the name of your master page so my master page name is master page dot master so I'll write master page dot master okay so once you have given this uh, master page dot master link to your uh, login page we just need to define the content placeholder here also in your login page so if you remember in the master page we have defined this content placeholder okay so we are going to use the same uh, content placeholder id and the server from here and we are going to write it here uh, asp content and then i will give my give the id to my content so for example id is equal to content 1 and then i will give the id for my content placeholder so write content placeholder id is equal to content placeholder id 1 which we have in the master page this one content placeholder id 1 okay and then after that we will say run it and is equal to server which we already have right here if you can see here and we will close our tag from here and it will automatically generate the end of your content so just cut it from here and place it at the last of your code okay so once it's done and let's see the design and you will see the design is changed in the login page it's the same design which we have applied in our master page and now when you run the program right click and view in the browser yes and you can see here we have our login page but the layout is taken from the master page okay this we can apply to the registration page also so go to the registration page go to the source and at the top whatever we have applied in the master page we have given the link of our master page i will copy it from here and paste it to the registration page also at the top and i will delete all the body content and head content of from here and from the bottom also up to the form and i will paste the same content code from here asp underscore content this all code but this time the content id will be different content id 2 and at the bottom we will end our con asp content okay and let's see in the design and you can see the design is applied here also so now when you run your pro project as a whole you have your first page with the master content and here i will give my username and password and password 
and I will say login. And I think the login is not correct. That's why it's taking so much time. So let's click this new user registration here. And you can see here, you will be able to see the registration page. And if you submit your page, it shows the same warning which we have created earlier. So in this way, you can uh, design a master page for your uh, website and apply it to the rest of the other pages. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.